Today we're taking a closer look at where wealth is spread out across the world and how it's sometimes not spread out very evenly. We're going to explore the spatial distribution of wealth, both globally and within different countries and regions. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the global distribution of wealth. If you were to map out where most of the world's money is, you'd notice that a huge chunk of it is concentrated in just a few places. North America, Europe, and parts of the Middle East are home to some of the wealthiest countries in the world. The United States, Canada, Germany, and Saudi Arabia are examples of countries where a lot of global wealth is concentrated. These regions have strong economies, advanced industries, and lots of investment, which helps them stay rich. But things are changing. Emerging economies, like Russia, China, and India, are shaking up the old patterns of global wealth. These countries have seen rapid economic growth over the past few decades, and they're becoming major players on the world stage. China in particular has grown so fast that it's now the second largest economy in the world, right behind the United States. This shift means that wealth is starting to spread out a bit more globally, though it's still far from evenly distributed. On the other side of the spectrum, we have some of the world's poorest nations, and many of them are concentrated in Africa. Countries like Malawi, Burundi, and Niger struggle with high poverty rates, low GDP, and limited access to education and healthcare. These challenges make it difficult for them to break out of the cycle of poverty, and as a result, wealth remains concentrated in richer parts of the world. But wealth isn't just unevenly distributed between countries. It's also unevenly spread within countries. Take a look at the difference between rural poverty and urban wealth. In many countries, cities are where the wealth is concentrated. That's where you'll find the best jobs, the most advanced services, and the highest standards of living. Think about places like New York City, London, or Tokyo. These cities are economic powerhouses. But if you travel out to the countryside in many parts of the world, you'll often find much higher levels of poverty. Rural areas might have less access to good schools, healthcare, and job opportunities, making it harder for people there to improve their quality of life. This pattern of urban wealth and rural poverty is especially noticeable in developing countries. For example, in India, cities like Mumbai and Bangalore are booming with wealth and opportunity, but many rural areas still struggle with poverty limited infrastructure, and a lack of basic services. This uneven distribution of wealth can create a lot of social and economic challenges, as people from rural areas often migrate to cities in search of better opportunities, leading to overcrowding and strain on urban resources. Another example of uneven wealth distribution within countries is in the United States. While the country as a whole is very wealthy, there are significant differences between different regions and even within states. Coastal cities like San Francisco and New York are among the richest in the world, but parts of the Midwest and South have much higher poverty rates. This shows that even in a wealthy country, not everyone benefits equally from economic growth. So, what does all this mean? The spatial distribution of wealth, where the money is and isn't, is a key factor in understanding global and regional inequalities. Wealth tends to concentrate in certain areas, creating hotspots of economic activity while other regions are left behind. This uneven distribution can lead to big differences in quality of life, access to resources, and opportunities for people depending on where they live. That's it for today's geography lesson. Keep an eye out for these patterns of wealth and poverty in the news and in your studies. They tell us a lot about the world we live in and the challenges we face in making it a more equal place.